Will having an irrevocable trust keep you out of probate? It depends. So the idea behind having any type of trust, whether it is revocable, meaning the person who's forming the trust or the people who are forming the trust can easily make changes to the trust. They can move assets in and out of the trust. The trust is essentially an extension of themselves for legal purposes, meaning there's no actual change in ownership. So they maintain control of those assets and are essentially setting it up so they avoid probate or an irrevocable trust, which is often set up either for asset protection or when you're doing some type of tax planning if needed. Uh, these types of trust, you aren't going to be viewed as the legal owner anymore. There is going to be a change in legal ownership, so they're not as easy to change. Uh, sometimes there's no way to change them at all. You're just sort of stuck with what you get, um, but they do definitely serve a purpose depending on your scenario. Uh, however, both, right, whether it's an irrevocable or a revocable, both should keep you out of probate. The reason I say should is you would be shocked at how many times I have people come into the office with these beautiful trusts that were drafted by an attorney and they paid lots of money for the trust, but no assets were ever transferred over into the trust. So we call this trust funding and it is essential. Just having a trust document, meaning the trust agreement or having an attorney draft a trust isn't what keeps you out of probate. What keeps you out of probate is this step of funding the trust, which happens after the trust is formed and signed. Then you can actually transfer title to certain assets into the trust, or you can add the trust as a beneficiary on certain assets, or you can assign things to the trust. Really depends on the type of asset, what you're gonna do, but the important point is if your trust doesn't have control of the asset, if it's not now the owner or a listed beneficiary or you know the, the asset isn't somehow associated with your trust, then that asset is subject to probate. So if you don't actually take this step of transferring the ownership, then everything goes through probate. So that's the reason I say it should, it should, an irrevocable trust should, because in theory, yes, but really what keeps the assets out of probate isn't so much the trust itself, but it's the second step of moving assets over into the trust, retitling assets into the trust, assigning them or listing the trust as a beneficiary. All right, so I hope this answers the question. And if you have any other questions about trusts, estate planning, asset protection, elder law, probate, and you're in Florida, please contact my office at Cause Law Office. The link is in my bio.